The lapel choices with the black tie are really peak, shawl and notch. Differences are really just about personal preference. There's no real social situation that they, they count for. The name black tie comes from the fact that you always wear a black bow tie with dress wear and the name of the game is always about the contrast between black and white. Daryl Briss evening wear could be worn at any occasion. Slightly more dramatic, it is considered slightly less formal because it's worn as a two-piece and not a three-piece. When it comes to dress shirt, I would always go for a Marcella. The natural texture of the cotton and the natural texture of the wool and satin gives a real high contrast between black and white. I guess it's becoming somewhat socially acceptable to wear a long black tie. I'm a traditionalist, so I would always say bow tie. Accessories for black tie is where you can have real fun black or white silk square, a silk scarf, and sometimes a cummerbund. A silk belt, usually in grow grain or satin. It's a great way of really uninterrupting the line and cut of the dinner suit. For black tie, I would always recommend a black barathea. This twin with an equally matte finish lapel really gives an incredibly sharp look. I would always recommend black for dress wear. However, Midnight Blue is a real nice alternative and really play on the lapel choice. Some customers nowadays request a black satin or grow grain on the Midnight Blue. My recommendation for trousers with evening wear would always be brace tops. It gives you a much longer outside leg and therefore makes you look taller. Trousers should be uncuffed without any turn-ups. That's a no-no with dress wear. And the satin or grow grain should always match that of the jacket.